Sometimes there is color in a photo that you just want gone. And I'm gonna show you how to do that using Kittle. And if you're new to Kittle, it works right in your browser. It's a phenomenal graphic design tool. So use the link in the description to sign up and you can even follow along with this tutorial. All right, so here we have a highly detailed image. It is actually an image, one of our illustrations, just a bitmap image. But if I grab the color remover tool, I'm gonna show you how to take the color inside of this away. So you want to pick a color that's definitely farther away from the line work because we want to keep the line work intact. So I selected that orange color and now with this intensity slider, I can just continue to drag it upwards until all of the color is gone, leaving us with the black line work, which you can see right here. And this would be great for things like coloring images or if you wanted to uh, put together your own color. Uh, you could play with the saturation and the contrast and the brightness and things like that. You could also just put a solid color behind it. it doesn't have to be white, but you can do a lot of different things just by taking the color away. Now, let me show you the opposite of that. So I've got red in the background. Now we took the actual color away, but what if we want to take just the line work away so that the black lines become transparent? So we can do that as well. We can leave the colored part and make the black go away. So let's do that. Let's use this uh, solid color tool, grab the black color. And now you can see the intensity is already on about 45%. It has taken all of the black lines away, leaving uh, the raw colors inside of the illustration intact. And then of course you can change your saturation to be all white. If we take the color away from this, we can just take the saturation and turn it down until all of the color that was inside the illustration is now white. And then of course you can continue to work on your contrast and brightness and intensity sliders and things like that. And that's just a really cool way to get different colors behind the illustrations. So let me just show you here. If I grab a photo from over here, uh, like this one right here that has a sunset in it, you'll see that the black line work we had before will now come through in this color. So send it back. So everywhere that there was black lines, you can see that this image in the background is coming through. Now, what if we have a regular image here that we want to take color away? Well, there's two different ways I'm going to show you how to do this. In an image such as this, we're actually going to use the background remover because there's a clear distinction between the canyon, uh, the mountains, and the sky. So boom, look at that. It just took the sky away because the subject in an image like this was very clear. And then we can go up here and we can change our sky color to whatever we want. Or we could go back over into photos or add a photo of yours to change the sky to be whatever you want like this. I've just pasted in an image I got somewhere else and boom, there's the sky really easy. Now in an image like this where the subject is a little unclear because we have a small person, big canyon and a little bit of sky, the color remover tool is better. So let me select the actual sky. So now you've seen the color is selected there. Same thing with the intensity slider. If I continue to move it up, you'll see that that color disappears for me to then replace with my own sky or image or color or whatever. Now be careful because if you take it too far, obviously it will eventually blow out the image because it's basically tacking on to the next color that's in relation to the color I selected. So you want to put it somewhere just past the color that you want to take away to leave the rest of the image intact. So somewhere around 4% for this one is great. And then if we want to change the color of the background to make it something else, we can do that. Or if we want to go back into photos and use our previous method, we could do something like galaxy or sunset or anything like that. And we could really make some pretty interesting composites here. So let me just size this one up and then I can right click it send it to the back and boom, you can see now we have a galaxy sky coming through this canyon. Of course, uh, maybe this doesn't make so much sense since there's sun coming through the side, but you get the idea of all the different things you can do with this tactic. Now, if you wanna see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.